Welcome back, folks, to, uh, I sound like Kikoski. Uh, welcome back to part 12, and this is a very special episode because we're going to see the epic showdown that was always meant to be. So, first, to get to that book, you have to use the scroll of Dispelling Magical Portal. So, double click it. How are you supposed to figure this out without a, start, a guide? I have no idea. But, let's do that. There we go. Now, let's go inside and read the book. Now, for the next uh, climactic scene, I'm going to read. In my investigations of Royal Bloodline, I have uncovered many facts. This is Ben External. That have led me to more questions. Keldon the Farmer, son of Thriel, forced to marry Lord Ken's daughter, Cecilia. Why would royalty want such a simple man? Keldon and Ariel, did Cecilia ever know? If so, when did she find out and how? Ariel has a child, a son. Did Keldon send her away to protect them from Cecilian, or did Cecilian order it? Sedina demanded a child. Mordea is born with the powers of Tempestry, yet Lord Keen was no Tempest, nor was his wife. But where is Keldon and Ariel's son, both mother and child sent to live with the fishermen? Devon knows not of his own father. Could Devon be a Tempest? <gasps> if so, by his being the first birth, his powers will be stronger than Mordea's. I must investigate this further. Uh-oh. And the guards have caught me. And as you probably guessed, Devon is the first is the half-brother of Mordea, the Force Born, which means he's a stronger Tempest. Thief! I knew you were not to be trusted! Uh, try to take me. You can just pick either one, doesn't matter. And I get my ass kicked. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ow. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay, I'm kinda dragging it out. Right, here we go, everybody. I'm gonna be reading the dialogue from this awesome scene. And for treasonous plots against our Lady Modea, hail Lord Modea. Modea, Modea, I call him Modea. Oh no. We bring you a thief. Watch it. We kind of bring you into the evidence chamber. Well done. The block always welcomes another neck. I am sorry to see you here, my friend. It appears we have both become victims of Modea. Please. One execution at a time. Yes, yes, we must attend to Devon's beheading first. Very well, carry on with the execution. Goodbye, my friend. May Lithos forgive our spirits. Devon is the right for heir! Gotta say that one. Say the top one. Pardon? I should slay you right now if it's a heresy. Stand your hand, Darian. He'll soon feed the lurker. Yes, my lady. Me, a tempest? Avatar, this is not time for levity. Get on with it! As you wish, my lady. And then you have to say, I have proof. I have a book that not only proves Devon is the right for Tempest, but also that his powers are stronger than those of Mordea's. Mordea and Devon have the same father, but Devon was the first birth. He is the rightful Tempest. You lie! Mordea, I locked that book safely away. Oops. Uh oh. Fool, now the whole world knows the secret. Forgive me, Lady Doria. I forgive you. Die. There goes Bennett. Yes, Devon is the right for heir to the throne, but the truth will serve him not. His head will still rest in the belly of the lurker. Proceed with the execution. No. No? You dare to defy me? I will not execute the true Tempest. Oh! Burn. Darian, do you defy me too? I cannot kill him, my lady. He is the Tempest. Oh. Oh god. If this is how it must be, then you will all suffer my wrath. Foolish brother, you think your powers are greater than mine? Use them if you dare to save your miserable life. Oh, I'm down. There will be only one Tempest. Then let it be so. Die, Devon! Your evil must end, Modea! I will kill you! Gone. Oh, the lurker had his feast. 
May the Lurker welcome you, as she has your victims. Oh, my head. Avatar, long last, Modea's time to rule is over. Now I must be the Tempest. I must use my powers to undo the evils of Modea's reign. I make it my duty to bring prosperity to all the land. Thanks for your efforts to free the city from her oppression. Though I know your destiny is light elsewhere, you will always be welcome here in Tenebra. Now I must leave. I need time from Tenebra to compete all over the recent events. I will return when the time is right and take my place as the Tempest. Goodbye, my friend. May our paths cross again. And all of a sudden, he knows how to do all this and how to walk on water. I'm guessing he never did it before, because if he did, he would have known something. And now he can suddenly walk on water? Whatever. And so that ends the epic showdown. Uh, he's still alive, and she's still alive, but these guys are all dead, so we'll see them again. And this video is kind of short. That's going to be the end of it. And a barrel appears here after the scene, but there's nothing in it. Maybe they were going to use it for something? I don't know. Anyways, that ends that scene. So Madea's dead. The the castle's empty right now, and her reign of tyranny is over. Yay! So now we can go into her bedroom, like this. And we can do the one thing... A minute, I'm having trouble with the keys. We can do the one thing we always wanted to do. Oh, he's here. That was quick. How was your journey? Hello, Avatar. Hello, Devin. Good day. Any news? As a simple fisherman, I never wanted the life of a ruler. I always believed it would be difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Goodbye. That's all you can move there now, but you can do whatever you want. You can't sleep in a bed. Shame. Okay. Uh, you can move stuff. Yeah. You know, do whatever you want. You can play with the combs. What are you doing there? <laughs> He's like, you know. Uh, that's about it. So when we come back, um, we're going to start our pilgrimage and learn the true path to get out of Pagan. So, until next time, everybody. Until next time.